This is the next episode of my XR Weekly News. We are in week 48, 2025. And yeah, Christmas market has started. Everything is smelling like a, a Christmas, like a, a, yeah, the, the, the stuff that you can buy there. It's, I, I love it. I love this time. And um, like, this is my time, yeah? Perhaps you've seen my uh, weekly news intros in the summer where I say, oh, I, it's so hot. But this is my time. I, I'm not a fan of summer. Uh, I'm a fan of winter. And this is also time of virtual reality. Like people are playing that. And just now this week, the Black Friday week, everybody is trying to get into VR and so on. Um, and this is crazy. Here in Germany, you can get the MetaQuest 3S for 229 euro. This is insane yeah uh, and and uh, many people are getting a, a, a vr headset right now that's really cool and and in my opinion many people say oh there are no games you can only play half-life elix but that's not true i mean i made a lot of top 10 lists and so on you can even find it on my home page in the description uh, if you if you can't find any games and if you really can't find any games you can even play pc vr mods and they are really cool mods yeah you can, you can spend years with them if you like. So, everything about XR hardware games releases and sales. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Wait, Pico? <laughs> Pico is back? <laughs> How is that possible? So, um, they were never uh, gone. So, they, um, we already know that they um, produced um, the, the Pico 4 Ultra, but they wanted to produce the Pico 5, but they canceled that because they wanted to um, create a competitor to the Apple Vision Pro. And now 2026, this will, as it seems, will happen. And now they have a micro OLED display with a 4000 pixel per inch. This is, this is crazy. It's the same like the Galaxy XR or the Megan X Superlight 8K. Woohoo! So this is a really high resolution and nice display and they even want to develop um, a dedicated chipset that is um, um, for real-time processing. That's really cool. Yeah, and um, the, the thing here is what I, what I always think is um, how can they compete against the big players? So this headset, the new Pico, will not be a gaming headset for, for five or six hundred bucks, like the old Pico headsets. This will not happen because they want to compete against Apple and Google. And this will likely mean it's far above one thousand bucks, perhaps even two thousand. Yeah, so they're going into the, um, yeah, like business area or so. And the question here is if they want this headset to be for people that work or so then they need a store and so apple has the the huge um, um play a uh, google uh, store and google has the, the google play store and pico this is gonna be hard so i mean i i love to hear something from pico because the hardware is not bad. I love the Pico 4 Ultra. It's, it's a really nice headset. It's also comfortable. Yeah, but um, yeah, we will see. I'm totally looking forward to that. So AI gets more and more also into uh, the XR world. So as you uh, remembered, I can um, create a 3D model of my um, studio with um, um, Horizon Hyperscape, which is extremely good. But now look at this. And this is marble, and this turns like from an, from a simple image. Look at look at this here. This is an image, and then it can create a volumetric scene here from the image. This is insane, right? <laughs> so the the AI has to work a, a lot here, I think. And here is uh, also a link, the marble web app, where you can try it for free. So I, I really want to try it as well. So uh, I, I do I create a picture from my from my studio and then let's see the difference to the Meta Horizon Hyperscape. <laughs> really interesting what they are doing right now.
yeah, and AI is not uh, only there uh, um, in with uh, like volumetric scenes. Um, Meta has also um, produced a lot more of cool tools. And <laughs> for example, this is another tool where you can um, create 3D objects from pictures. So this is the, the package from my uh, Vision Pro. And when I click on that, here it should recognize yeah it should recognize and then you can click on generate 3d uh, okay this is not a good example because the ai can't know what's behind that but um still it can um create yeah, like this yeah this this package here it's the 3d model <laughs> this is insane right <laughs> so cool so um of course it works better with objects that uh, are the same from behind like like uh cup or, or something yeah but did you see how fast that was yeah and you can you can create that and uh, use it somewhere in your um, 3d worlds or so it's really easy but not only this we also have like word generating tools with ai for example here word word gen can generate words just from a text prompt and something similar we all already have in the Horizon world. Uh, look at this. This is a live demo. And this island here in Meta Horizon Worlds is my creation. I created it myself without having any knowledge about programming or 3D design or world design or anything. Really zero. I just, you have to uh, click here. Yeah. Um, and you, for example, if you want to use a, a sky or a texture or or, or a, a 3D model, you can just go, for example, generate an environment and then a, a forest in the fall, and then it creates the environment. And also, uh, here this player character where we start, yeah, um, and also this, this palm trees I created myself just with AI. Then you go here to uh, generate 3D models and just say, yeah, I want to... Uh, create a palm tree this is this is insane yeah or or this 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 cottage here and then you can just place it like drag it around how cool is that yeah and and uh, so with ai in the future we can generate vr games and worlds much faster so the developers can focus on much uh, more interesting ideas and things instead of doing that stuff here that's absolutely amazing so I've already talked about the version 83 of the Horizon OS for your quest um, in the last weeks. But uh, now they are rolling it out from the public test channel to the live uh, environment. And now um, th this is also the case that some features that are included in version 83 are not available for everyone. So even the single features of an update are rolled out um, in waves. This is crazy. For example, now we have something that's called system positional time warp. So normally uh, VR headsets have the feature that when you have the um, rotational um, movement like, like this here, then if the headset um, fails to generate a frame because of the performance issues or something like that. It it can uh, like fake a picture, a frame. Yeah, so it can. It, it's like an AI generated frame. Yeah, and this this only works with rotational like like this. Yeah, and now we have positional time warp. That that means this works. Uh, in on the room scale, uh, so everywhere where you are, and that's really cool. It can save performance, and it the the most thing is um, it can reduce sickening in VR. So really great. Meta is pushing that really forward, and it can be used everywhere in in any app. And then we have temporal dimming. This is also cool because the Quest ha has an LC display. That means. Um, like, like when there's uh, dark scenes, um, there's still the backlight of the LC display. OLED is much better here. Um, but now they have temporal dimming. So if the Quest recognizes there's a dark scene, it reduces the um, brightness of the display. And that um, helps reducing eye strain and it can extend the battery life. This is really cool. Yeah. 
And uh, you can see if you have these features to, uh, by going in the experimental um, section and then check out uh, temporal dimming or what I told you, positional time warp. Really cool. And then we have improved scene understanding. Perhaps you've already tried to scan your room in mixed reality or for mixed reality games. And then um, the quest can recognize like a, a couch or a table or a window. And now it can even uh, recognize more things like multi uh, height floors, slanted ceilings and inner walls. This is really cool. It's getting much better and uh, easier. Um, and uh, then the developers can do much more cool things um, when they um, when they produce mixed reality games. So Meta is pushing really hard here, and also uh, we have a smartphone log in, uh, so you can log in um, with your smartphone to different websites. Um, I mean, Google and Apple are much better here because they they have the Safari browser and Chrome browser, and everything is synchronized to your PC or smartphone and to your VR headset. Meta doesn't have that, so they have to go this way. But still, they are pushing that really hard. So I'm really happy about the development here at Meta. Okay, guys, the weekly survey. So let's check out the old one. So I asked you. PC VR versus standalone. Be honest, how did you use your VR headset most often in 2025? And I asked pure standalone, wireless PC VR, wired PC VR, and PlayStation VR 2 console VR. And it's interesting because uh, it's a little bit different than on my German channel. Uh, so here, more people use PC VR at all. So on my German channel, I had um, the first one was pure standalone. So obviously uh, in Germany they uh, play more standalone, which I didn't expect. Yeah, I expect the other way around. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> um, but um, yeah. But it's very interesting that more people use wired PC VR than wireless PC VR. So this this is crazy. I didn't expect that because many people write, "Oh no, this cable sucks." Um, who who, should, who buys a headset with cable and so on? So obviously most of you buy buy a cabled headset or have a cable headset. This is really cool. And it's really nice. And what what we also see here that console VR is dying. Yeah, uh, and so PC uh, PlayStation VR two. I mean. The, the PlayStation VR 2 is a nice headset. It's really nice hardware. I love the headset. I love the controllers. But Sony uh, missed their chance. Yeah, they missed their chance um, because they they didn't advertise the PlayStation VR 2 at all. And also, there are not really many exclusive, like two or three games. Yeah, and also the games that are released for PlayStation VR 2, they they were released on other VR platforms like three years before, and that's why. This is the result, yeah. So, and the next survey for this week is this year. So, if the perfect all-in-one VR headset was released today, what would you be willing to spend on it? So, I, I give you four choices, up to 300 bucks, 300 to 500. So this is the range of the Quest 3S and Quest 3, and then uh, 500 to 800, Perhaps this is the range for Steam Frame and over 800. So this is gonna be interesting because many people say, "Oh, VR is too expensive. Who can afford that?" So we will see. Yeah. So please, guys, everybody has to participate. Everybody who looks this news, it's it's just uh, one click. Go into the description. There is the link to the survey and participate. It's very important to have as many um, votes as possible. So we will see next week. And let's check out the releases. Very important, guys. On the Meta Horizon platform, you get now 20% off on every MetaQuest game um, with my coupon code VUDODE. This does not work for uh, Deadpool VR, unfortunately, but all the other games it works. So make sure to use that coupon code VUDODE. And here we have Star Wars. This is, a, I would say, it's a MOBA shooter. So a lot of action. Also, we have like uh, quick match modes and so on. Can ju uh, jump right in and uh, shoot. <laughs> and then on Steam, we have Maze Breach. This is a um, horror survival game. And then we have Neon Overdrive. This is a rail shooter, a rail shooter where we have to shoot and shoot and shoot. <laughs> and then Colonies 19. This is a horror climbing game. 
crazy, right? And then we have me, cat, we are. So we are a cat and we can uh, do what a cat does uh, in a room, destroying stuff and finding out secrets. <laughs> and we have uh, Atlas Obscura VR. This is a, a app where we can explore real places in VR and um, find out about this place is interesting. And on PlayStation VR 2, we have Pools. This is a game that's about sound. Yeah, just uh, about hearing something that could make you uh, um, a little bit frightened. <laughs> and this way the releases this week. Okay, guys, and let's check out the sales. Very important, there are still some um, Black Friday sales, so make sure to check out my um, homepage. Here's coupons and sales, and here's uh, current sales. Uh, ju just oh, oh, it's not translated. You can just auto translate it, and then it's English. And then here you find really cool. Um, sales for HTC, for example, the Meta Quest 3. Um, then we have the uh, Pimax um, sale. If you want to have a Pimax Crystal Super, for example, the Ultra Wide, it, it doesn't work with the OLED, but with the Ultra Wide, you can get 10% off right now um, with the coupon code VoodooDE10. Wait, uh, give me a second. Why is that not? Here we go. Uh, but this is only until December 1st. So make sure um, to click on that link before December 1st. And then we have the PlayStation uh, VR 2 and also the Ray-Ban Meta. Yeah, so the, the smart glasses um, are on sale 20%, the first generation. Go here on my uh, link here. And then we have some um, VR prescription lenses that you can get 20% off VR Optician or VR Rock, 15% off, really nice. And please guys, um, support me a little bit by going uh, via my via the Amazon link U United States Amazon link you can just support me for free so this would be really really nice if you buy something on Amazon like a new TV or so just go via this link you don't pay anything extra you support me a little bit this would be absolutely nice this link works the whole year but now let's check out some sales. We have the um, Meta Quest sale. Uh, some games are even more than 20%. Uh, so for 20% uh, on all games, use my coupon code VoodooDE. And then for some games, the code BFCM25 um, um, works also. Yeah, we have some, some games here that you can try. And then you get even a little bit more. Really cool. And then we are on Steam, we have Arizona Sunshine Remake. This is 60% off. Then we have um, the, uh, Hell Sweeper. This is a really nice action ro roguelite game. 67% off. Same um, Seventh Guest VR. Really nice puzzle adventure. 67% off. We have Eye of the Temple. This is an Indiana Jones temple exploring game. 60%. We have Electronauts. Really nice music rhythm game. Is uh, even 80% off. And then we have Mask Maker. This is a nice puzzle adventure as well. 80% um, off on the PlayStation VR 2. We have Rainbow Reactor Fusion, a really nice um, skill um, puzzle game. 82% uh, off Fisherman's Tale 2, also really nice puzzle adventure. 70% off after the fall is 60% off and Resident Evil Village is also 70% off. So guys, uh, now please go into the description and then um, please participate in the survey. This is really, really important and also go via my uh, link where you can uh, save money and support me a little bit. Thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!